becomes a dismal swamp different times of the year, you'll see different things, which is pretty neat. This is a very ecologically rich area. Welcome back to the vlog. We are at the Great Dismal Swamp today. We had a nice cruise to get here in our first log from Elizabeth City yesterday. And now we're gonna go and explore the various hiking trails, maybe see some black bears, some deer. Hopefully we don't see black bears. <laughs> or any venomous snakes. We're gonna check out the state park today and enjoy this beautiful weather while we get to enjoy a free dock. Amen. And for all you land numbers, this state park is actually right off Highway 17, which travels up and down the, I think it's the whole East Coast or at least the Southeastern part of the US. And so if you're coming by, might as well stop in. So there's the highway. <laughs> Here's the rest stop. And then there's the boat. <laughs> This park is only accessible by bridge. The last bridge opens at 5.30 and once the bridge is open, you can't get back over. So we have to be out of here by 5.30. So we are doing the Swamp Boardwalk, which is a half a mile kind of loop, or more like figure eight. And it's on a boardwalk, so it's on a paved path. It's an introductory trail into this swamp-like environment here. So like everybody else we've met in North Carolina, the bridge tender was super nice, super helpful. We had to sign in before we started the trail. And he warned us about ticks. He said they're really in full force right now. Be careful for Ollie. So we're gonna do a nice thorough tick check when we get back to the boat, but it's not gonna stop us from hiking. Large protected areas like the Dismal Swamp are vital to the conservation of North Carolina's largest land mammal. Small mammals, 13% of their uh, diet. Watch out Ollie, you're a small mammal. Even though we got here yesterday, we've been here all day today, we are just now starting the hike at like 2 p.m. It's been a busy work day today. So it's actually becoming summer and it's pretty warm here, but it's nice and cool in the swamp. I guess it's the shade from the different trees. It's nice because most of the dismal swamp that we've traveled through so far to get here yesterday, um, there's been a lot of actual like human development, farms and the highway was throughout side of it so it's nice to finally see like a lot more wildlife and get out into nature which is kind of odd considering we live on a boat uh, to get out into nature but it really feels like we're right in the thick of it right now. We just learned that 24 out of 37 of North Carolina's snake species live in the Dismal Swamp so this is a very ecologically rich area. That is so cool. We've seen probably about a hundred caterpillars all over from the different plants and the leaves to the benches to the walkways. They're everywhere. And we just saw a sign that talked about the abundance of butterflies here in the park. And so I think we are a little early for butterfly season, but they are soon to be here. We are unlikely to see these animals, um, but maybe you'll have better luck on your trip depending on what time of the day you come. But in the Dismal Swamp, there's also populations of bobcats, shrews, and of course black bears. Um, we may see black bears still, but the bobcats and shrews, probably not. There's also a very diverse species of frogs that live here. You'll normally see them in the spring and the winter. So it seems like if you come to the Dismal Swamp different times of the year, you'll see different things, which is pretty neat. And that concludes our boardwalk trail. It was actually a lot faster than I thought. I think we just started it. Um, it's still really cool. You know, it's uh, ADA accessible, so if you're in a wheelchair, you can do it. And I noticed there's a picnic table in there. 
that has wheelchair access, so that's pretty dope. Definitely recommend going on that trail, it was awesome. And now we're gonna try to get into some of the more backcountry trails and the more hiking. The bridge tender was completely on point because we haven't even gotten into the rough part of the trail and I already have a tick on my arm. Oh, and it just fell off. Okay. Oh, I don't go over there. I haven't even been in the, in the forest yet, so we are gonna need a big tick check tonight. I have so much energy today because we've been working all morning and we didn't have to move the boat. Well, we did have to actually move the boat forward in the dock because the other people left, but we didn't have to move the boat hardly at all. So as they say, we have jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. There are so many bugs here on this part of the trail, but also you can hear the birds. They're quite a bit louder. Hopefully we'll see some evidence of some black bears. It'll be pretty neat. Or even see one. Now that we're off the boardwalk, these trails are both hiking and biking. Somebody's gonna get a BATH tonight. Woo! Yippee! So back in the day, the Dismal Canal was not as wide as it is currently. And so when they were using it to ship goods, they had very flat bottom boats. And this is an example of that type of boat. The Dismal Canal was commissioned in 1790, but wasn't fully completed and fully utilized until the War of 1812. And it was used as a bypass to the Chesapeake when the British had blockaded the entrance to the Chesapeake over near Norfolk. This area has huge historical significance. Moonshine in the swamp. This is some of the process to make moonshine. Moonshine was made quite a bit here in the swamp during the Prohibition era. We've just wrapped up the Supplejack Trail and the rest of the trail systems here go up and down this canal trail which uh, parallels the canal and then the highway across the canal and there's many more miles of trails out to the northwest so if you have a bicycle it's perfect for that all right that wraps up our day at the dismal swamp state park awesome day overall really enjoyed it thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like um, comment below if you've been to the dismal canal before either by car or by boat and if you're so inclined please subscribe to our channel to watch us go through more of america's great loop and tomorrow we are finishing our journey on the canal and heading to the elizabeth town oh. Oh, it's so dark. I don't think that's gonna work. What do you want me to say? Hmm? That's enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Heading to some town.